So today we're going to do another book review and I want to review what I consider to be the best book on the science of health ever written. It's this book, The Science and Fine Art of Natural Hygiene by Herbert Shelton. Herbert Shelton, he is generally considered to be the father of, you know, the modern natural hygiene movement. I mean, he he builds upon previous pioneers, but uh, he was the one who really put it into text. He wrote, I think he wrote 40 books. He is an excellent writer. Uh, this book is volume one in what he wrote that he called the hygienic system. If you don't know what natural hygiene is, then you should read this book. But essentially, just to let you know in simple terms, uh, hygiene means health. It, it, so natural hygiene means natural health. It means uh, the science of health, as opposed to what we learn a lot today from the medical model, which is the science of sickness, really. You know, doctors are educated in the science of sickness and disease, whereas the science of health is something different altogether. This book would be the best introduction to the science of health that I would ever find. Uh, I've read it several times. It is my absolute most important book, I think. Um, if you know, if you're familiar with the 8 to 10 10 diet uh, by Dr. Douglas Graham, that is essentially a modern uh, practical guide to the science of natural hygiene. I mean, Doug Graham himself credits Herbert Shelton, T.C. Fry, different authors and pioneers in the natural hygiene movement. He's a hygienist himself. Being hygienic just means health promoting as opposed to sickness causing. So we want to live a hygienic life, obviously. The science and fine art of natural hygiene provides the reader with the basic principles of natural hygiene, focusing on basic physiology as viewed through hygienic eyes. Nowhere else will the reader find such an in-depth examination of the basic principles of natural hygiene. This is the book. This is the book of all books when it comes to health, healthful living. I'll read a little bit from the index just so you know some of the chapters and get an idea of what the book is about. First chapter, cells and their environment. Then the mystery of life, internal symbiosis, basic needs of living, the laws of life, physiological compensa compensation, the stimulant delusion, and, and then I'll jump a little bit, um, rest and relaxation, whole chapter on that, sleep, whole chapter on sleep, air and light in the home, care of the skin, bathing, clothing and dress, care of the hair, care of the eyes, care of the glands, emotional control, care of the teeth, care of the colon, care of the feet, poison habits, um, general care of babies and children. I mean, he goes through everything that you need to know about the basic principles of health and healthful living. The way he writes is very scientific as well as being intended for the casual reader, really. I don't personally agree with everything he says, obviously. I don't typically agree with everything anyone says. That's normal. Uh, but he shows me a lot of principles that makes me think further and build upon the principles I learned from him. So it's, it doesn't have to mean you either agree or you don't, but uh, you can get something valuable out of it, even if you disagree with more than I do. But, but basically, in my eyes, this book is... I, I can't even express how valuable this book is. This is the one to get if you want to learn about health. In terms of diet, the second volume is about diet. The science, science and fine art of food and nutrition. I'll uh, make another uh, review of that. So this book is mostly just about the science of health, the laws of life, simple principles of healthful living, simple principles of nature. You know, we're talking biochemistry, we're talking... Um, physics. We're talking just understanding nature and understanding our relationship to it as human beings and as a physical organism. That's kind of like a typical page there. 
um, typewriter type uh, font very enjoyable very nostalgic almost you know old school it's written in 1934 1934 so the raw food movement it is nothing new <laughs> it's been around for a while you know and even if you go further back it's always been around but the modern health movements really started around you know the early 1900s when uh, people like Herbert Shelton and others initiated this movement of natural hygiene as a response as a kind of uh, counter movement to the typical medical model which teaches that if you become sick you take a drug or a treatment to remove the symptom of the sickness and then you're well you're cured well, natural hygiene teaches the basic principle that if you're sick, you must remove the cause of the sickness in order to get well. And when you remove the cause of the sickness, the body natural re naturally returns to health, which is a, its default thing to do. And it makes perfect sense, of course. If I'm banging my head against the wall and get a headache, taking a pill against the headache isn't going to do anything about the damage that I'm still getting to my head. I need to stop banging my head against the wall. Right? It's a crude example, but that's essentially the point. We don't want to go around treating symptoms. We want to remove the cause, and then we want to actually positively cause health. And that's what natural hygiene is, the science of health. And remember, health means whole. It's the natural state of the human body. It's the natural state of nature. Nature is always in a state of health, working towards health. And disease is only uh, something that shows up when we neglect providing for our needs or when we expose ourselves to damaging factors like toxins uh, like uh, physical violence things like that so taking care of our health is very simple it may not might not be that easy in this today's world but that's why we have tools like this to educate ourselves and to learn some of those principles that are ancient in nature and no better person to learn it from than Herbert Shelton, the king of natural hygiene. As we typically get interested in healthy living and things like that, we, we start going from the typical medical model, we start going into acupuncture, we start going into herbal remedies, we start going into these natural therapies. But, you know, they still work under the same basic principle that we need to treat symptoms. And when you I think when you read this, it will, it will change your world view a little bit if you're open to it. To it, it will, it will, rock your world as it were, and that's a good thing because. As soon as you understand some of the basic principles of what health really is, everything else falls into place very neatly. You don't have to understand so much. It's not so complicated, you know. The seas is complicated. We have to look at. How is it going? How is it working? What different herbs work for this symptom? But forget about that. Health is simple. Health just means hungry, eat. Tired, sleep. But you know, it's complicated because we have a culture that goes against that sort of um, behavior. So reading this will culturize you. It will make you more human, I think. So give it a try. Get it on Amazon, I'm sure anywhere uh, it's an awesome book if you're gonna get one book only on health get this one if you're gonna get two books on health get this one and the 8 to 10 10 diet by Doug Wren if you get three books on health you might want to get this one as well and of course TC Fry is also a good resource but Herbert Shelton he's the man alrighty thanks for watching make sure you check out the other review of the second volume of the book and I'll see you around in the next episode.